I'm Anna Kaisa Rankanen, University Lecturer at the University of Oulu. There I'm leading the group called Water Protection and Ecological Engineering. I'm researcher and teacher. Main reason may be that I can like, combine mathematics and physics and try to understand uh, environment, biological processes, and then also try to find the solution to help our societies. It's like a mix of the nature science and then mathematics, physics and engineering fields. During my studies, I worked as an internship trainer, like a summer trainer for environmental authorities and for some companies there. I was part of this environment team. So basically what I have done the most in my working history is to be a teacher. So I already started to be a part-time teacher during my physics studies. I worked as a teacher assistant for our laboratory and exercise courses. I have investigated those, constructed wetlands and taken soil samples there and water samples and things like that. So I did this during my internship already, but later I'm still doing that as my <laughs> one of my duty. Now I'm more like a tutor, supervisor, mainly I'm a teacher, those hydrological processes and how those should be taken into account when some structures have been designed. For example, during road construction, they have to know what kind of precipitation or extreme condition happen in that area and uh, select the correct precipitation and calculate the water amount that must be considered when the structure is designed. So I'm teaching those, also teaching surface water quality modeling. I try to teach my students how they can describe mathematically those uh, lake system and river system and how nitrogen loads can be modeled there and what happens if there are certain loads coming to the system and what, what kind of solution we can find then if we want to decrease the load. We are in Finland, which is located very north and we have a cold winters and quite a warm and rainy summers. So it's very important that we know also snow processes and this cold climate specific issue. I do lots of uh, master thesis supervision and PhD supervision. My big research area is innovative solution for water treatment. My work motivates me a lot because uh, I can really see that we are trying to find a solution for uh, communities, for uh, people, local people, and this that I can work with many different stakeholders. So I can see that uh, I'm not doing research only for research. I can see that someone can use my research output. I have uh, never done very detailed career plan or future plan, but I have always uh, thought next following step. When I think about my future, oh, I don't know exactly, but I'm now quite much motivated to, to see and get my research group to grow so that I can see that uh, postdoctoral researchers and PhD who work in my research group they find their career so that we as a group we can grow bigger and to be good in our field. I think uh, it is important that there are women also in this engineering field. I have never thought or seen any like obstacles because of this that I'm woman. So in Finland we have like equality to study what we want and I have always follow my heart or my motivation. I can see that to work as a woman is totally different than to work as a man. So to be the mom and, and have a family and combine work and family, it, it is very challenging for women. But I really encourage everyone to still uh, go. I have a 
three gifts. Having children, of course, they delay your career, but they are not obstacle at all. And engineer field needs uh, woman aspects because we can see something different than the men's alone. Definitely, we need many different viewpoints to find the best solution. If the girls, if they don't select mathematics and physics in the elementary school and in high school, then they close their doors so that they, ha they have all options open. It really means that in every school steps, they must be open for physics and mathematics and, and chemistry. That is the only way how later they can then feel comfortable to select this um, STEM field. So I think the okay, message to all girls is that select always <laughs> lots of mathematics and, and physics. Really take those because later you can still uh, uh, select some other fields also.